the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in or mortis nostre. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm here with Ryan the Retrograde. And speaking of retrogrades, Tim Gordon has a new channel with his brother and a friend. And we're actually going to talk about that. We're pretty excited because, well, Ryan, I'm calling him Ryan the Retrograde, and Tim's <laughs> show is called Rules for Retrogrades. Yes. I just saw, you know, his one of his first few videos was about Father James Martin. Yeah, so and within, it's episode two. Yeah, episode. And within the first few minutes, Tim and his brother were just railing Father James Martin, and it's going to be a really interesting series. So what do you yeah. have to say about that? Ryan? Yeah, I wanted to, to point this out to all of your viewers that uh, I just became this week. I think he started up this channel, and um, Tim Gordon's very solid, and his brother is great, too. So Tim's working on two books, he announced. One is Rules for Retrogrades. And the second is called No Catholic Feminism. And that's quite relevant today because he recently went to uh, Catholic Answers and talked with Trent Horn. And they did an episode, maybe it was some kind of a debate, and there may have been a second a segment of that debate about Catholic feminism. What is it? Is it allowed by the church or is it condemned by the church? And so uh, Tim, of course, you know, he's been on the uh, Taylor Marshall YouTube channel. They've been um, collaborating together. Tim has also authored the book Catholic Republic uh, about the Catholic origins um, and basis of the American Constitution. But I think that, that recently he's really come to his own um, and has written some fantastic is, is working quite well on these two other books which I'm uh, looking forward to reading um, he appeared on reason and theology which I just wa I think I've watched that twice when he was on the region the reason and theology channel did a terrific interview with them about uh, a variety of topics and so I definitely think you should check out that channel and as you mentioned, episode two is about Slim Jim Martin and the LMNOP agenda. And uh, episode three came out. Um, I don't know if I've watched that one yet, but if not, it's in my queue on YouTube to watch. Yeah, in terms of Father James Martin, and Tim's you know, series in general, I guess, I, you might have noticed I'm not really as much of a ranter. And I'm not super forceful either. I don't really speak out super strongly. I just kind of bring things up and like to let people kind of decide for themselves. But, you know, <laughs> this one's pretty interesting because he doesn't hold anything back and his brother doesn't either. So yeah, it's, I mean, they've reached, a lot of they've reached the end of the rope here. When you've got to the situation where Father James Martin is openly contradicting the scriptures, okay? We recently did an, yes. an episode about the New American Bible, okay? And we have Father James Martin saying, well, the Bible never says anything about slavery, as if, or it praises slavery, it says you should be a good slave. More or less what he's insinuating yes. is that the Bible is wrong when it comes to homosexuality, okay? Why don't you just say that openly and blatantly and, and just come out of the closet and say that you support the LMNOP agenda and you think homosexuality and homosexual acts are good, okay? If that's what you believe, say it so people know. Don't beat around the bush. And I'm going to throw Father James Martin's tweet on the screen here. It, what's interesting about that is that he takes like the atheist argument against the Bible and it's like, yes. okay, well, you're a Catholic priest. So what, why are you like arguing in favor of something that atheists would? Mm -hmm. It just it doesn't make any sense no, to me. It makes no it just, sense. It, like, because I've heard that argument before. Yeah. And I, I, when I saw Father James Martin post that, I was like, okay, so do you really believe in Jesus? Yeah. Do, do you believe in the real presence in the Eucharist? Because you're a priest, and you better believe because you have consecrated hands. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so so the, the Gordon brothers have had it up to here. 
with the Father James Martin LMNOP agenda, and they let loose, and rightly. And the question is, okay, we're just a bunch of lay guys. Haven't any bishops, besides Bishop Strickland, I think he's the one guy that's called out and said, like, whoa, you know, this has gone too far. Archbishop Chaput oh. kind of did a soft criticism. Oh, a soft criticism. And a few, a few other bishops spoke out in favor of that Pep Rocky and um, okay. St Bishop Steichen. He's, he's all over the place. Oh, the crazy guy. He, yeah. yeah, but but I mean, you know, you got to give him credit whenever they even he even did, hesitantly. This was speak hesitantly. Out. He did something good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at least you're defending the Catholic faith. Like that's what we're asking for the bishops. Please what? defend the Catholic you, faith. You you as part of your ordination to the episcopacy have sworn an oath that you were going to teach the Catholic faith whole and entire until the shedding of your blood, and yet it's lay people who are getting fired up and having to do this stuff. Um, where are these guys at? I, I think, as we discussed earlier, I said, when, when you've got, don't expect much from these bishops, okay? They went to Novus Ordo preschool. They went to Novus Ordo priest school. They went to <laughs> Novus Ordo bishop school. And so when you go to all these Novus Ordo establishments, that's what you become. And part of that is you get your spine removed as part before, you're, before you're consecrated a bishop. You have this spine removal surgery, and they're just like these blobs of, of, of a person who just wants to get along. Let's not make any waves. Let's just keep the money rolling in and keep Susan from the parish council off my back. And so, to bring it back to the beginning of this, this was the, where we began to discuss about Tim Gordon, all the great stuff go, uh, that's going on. Consider him, watch his YouTube, support his book, and uh, there's a lot of great stuff going on in the church now. Obviously there's bad things, but there's some tremendous new ideas, old ideas resurrected, and we just wanted to draw your attention to those. So thank you for watching, thank you Ryan. You know, if you have any topics, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, if you have any, you know, reactions to this, comment below, and we'd like to hear your thoughts.